All right. Let's find a way to the harbor and hope the boat's still there. These must be all the old ship manifests. <laughs> Still seem to be in good shape. <sighs> hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's over 500 pounds. That's gotta be it. Wow. There you are. That thing kind of gives me the creeps. Huh. That's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. Huh. I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sic parvis magna? Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates. Right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado.
Huh? I don't see any boat, Nate. Looks like we missed our chance. No, there it is. On the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can, uh, swing around and come back and pick me up? <laughs> okay, what are you up to? Nothing. I just want to, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. All right, fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. Good. 